Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to format numbers with leading zeros in Excel 2016. So I'll show you a bunch of different examples of what you can do, just in case you have something different in mind. So we have all these numbers here, and we want to give them a couple zeros in front of them. So there's a bunch of different ways to do that, as I mentioned. Here's one of the first ways. Use the text formula like so. There's another error. I didn't put that closing parentheses or closing quotes. So there we have it that put the leading zeros in there. So now all the numbers are neatly in line with each other according to the maximum and largest value of digits. So that's one way to put leading zeros on if you want something like that. You can also change that to number. However, it will not affect our sum. We can format this if you want it in a different way. However, that's our sum right there, and you can see that it's not recognizing those as actual numbers. So that's another drawback of leading zeros. So another way to do it is we can go ahead and concatenate them. This will just simply put three zeros right in front of it all. Go ahead and do that, and we'll drag it down. And you can see that I just simply put those zeros up there. Nothing too special. Of course, Excel doesn't recognize those as actual numbers. Right now, it's more of a text sort of thing. You can also do it that way. And of course, our sum changes because Excel recognizes that not as a number, but as a text value. Even if we did go ahead and select all of these, or these, try to convert them, it won't exactly work. Even if you tried general or tried number, you're going to have to go ahead and convert that to an actual number that Excel recognizes and can compute. This has been a How Tech Video Tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.